hello guys welcome back once again to my channel this is shade so Madi today we'll be creating a very simple party flyer so i'll give, be giving you a, a quick breakdown because I'll be, I'll be dropping the psd file in the link below so you can you can download it in the, in the link below so it's very very simple first of all you create a new layer control n on your keyboard come to this value here 100 by 1350 for the canvas now what you can do is to create to get this image yeah this was the image i used let me remove the noise so let me bring this image this image was got was a uh, downloaded Control v to paste the image so i added noise to the background you can see little noise you know just to give it that kind of look then what i did again was okay, let me switch let me switch this off sorry switch this off layer here okay yeah so what i did next was to bring you know in my previous video you can see you, you would know how, how i got this particular brush let me show you again so what i did was to create a new layer on my on my keyboard I, i'll press b for brush you can see the focal color is set to white if yours is not set to white you can toggle here you can see to white click once you can decide to expand it expand it to any amount you want to expand it to it's very simple that's why i got this layer so let me switch this and delete this layer and bring this in sorry so now i added this particular layer like let me i got this image also online let me let me change the blend mode to normal you can see it's looking so rough now if you change the blend mode for of this particular layer to screen you can see to give it that kind of that that's a um, grungy feeling so that was exactly how i got this this particular part it's very simple so now for this image now this image was got it from from pinterest i decided to add my own feel to it like i actually said what i use for this image enhancement is called is a plugin called topaz lab you come to your filter here next collections topaz lab now how can you get topaz lab you can get it on youtube is on Azan's page you can just just type Azan to pass lab you will get the plugin on this page it's very very it's very very easy to get but i will also try to post it on my page this week just so you guys can always use it it's very very simple you can decide to play around it just to give your image life it's very very simple to to use so i, I realized that when i used the topaz lab i didn't really get what i wanted so what i did was to come to my sorry let me okay yes to my adjustment layer here i clicked on color balance you click the clipping mask to this particular image let me control z so the value i use for this color balance the value i use here is cyan minus 14 magenta plus 2 yellow plus 39 that was exactly how i got this particular um color so you can see the, the image is blending well with the background so it's very very simple to get now i like, like you always see in my videos i create kind of a um, background blur so what i did here from the onset was to create let me shoot it off was to create you know i don't really like it's not looking sharp like this so what i did was to create a new layer like this change this foreground color back to black come to your gradient tool here click on this this is the gradient tool gently brush up like you can see it will give you this black color this black color here you can see so what you would do next let me double this yes so what you would do next is to come to your fx here color overlay 
so you can decide to choose any color you want you can decide to pick any of these colors let me let me show you you see you can decide to pick any of these colors if you want so i just picked the color and i used it so let me switch delete this one let me delete this one and put this back on so that was exactly how i got this and as usual you see presents you know it's very it's very very simple like in my last video i taught you how i got this so in my sorry in my previous video rather what i did here was to write this text and let me come to the text i think i like this font yes now you can see this text i use kenyan coffee here for the text kenyan coffee for the text kenyan coffee board for the text and i duplicated the text and i also use kenyan coffee for this particular effect a particular text also making it wild sunday now let me come to my fx here and explain how i got all this glow effect the color of the text is white for the outer glow i used this um this particular settings you would, you would change your blend mode to screen your opacity to 100 noise zero and uh, your color is ood to ff Technique zero size uh, spread zero rather size twenty seven for the jitter fifty uh, sorry, for the range fifty jitter zero. Now you come to your first drop shadow, you will see opacity here yeah, seventy nine, angle ninety, distance forty six, spread four size sixty eight, noise zero. Now for the second shadow, this this is a trick, oh. opacity twenty six, distance fifty, spread zero, size hundred click ok now what you want to do here is to you know this is these are two texts if i do this the text won't be effective at all so what i did was to bring in this text below because it, it is this wild that is having this effect so it will be like it is it is it is behind this wild text so that is very very simple so that was exactly how i got all this designs here so you can please check my okay sorry let me finish this so lastly i wanted my my designs to have color you know to have life what i did was to let, let me switch this off okay let me you come to your adjustment layer here you come to color lookup so you click on load you can decide to use any one you want anyone you want here but for this for this one i used sorry this one i used let me show you what i used here i used three stripe you can see three stripe if you if you use this you should, it should look kind of too ash if you use two stripe it should look somehow too i used three stripes to give it more color and more life so that's exactly how i got this design so please check feel free to check out my my, my other videos don't forget to subscribe and share share on your pages on your, and, and on your platforms just to you know let others come and enjoy what you're enjoying also because i drop free psd files every week from now on i'll be dropping every every two, two days yes to make you guys you know enjoy more and learn faster so please don't forget to subscribe and turn your your notification bell to, to see when i post new videos thank you